for those of you, I've, I've had a few people talk about, you know, they wish they could do this or that kind of stuff. One thing I would suggest doing now Hey y'all, welcome to TNT Homesteading. This is Terry. It is Saturday morning. It's a little before 10 o'clock and I'm finally getting my day started. Uh, had a late night yesterday doing some digging. Uh, the rain that was supposed to come in overnight and delayed, so it didn't rain after all, but I didn't know that last night. Um, you can see that I dug through here and uh, had a horrible time getting through the roots of this as I sort of expected. Uh, but I've got electric, electric line in the cabin. It's not hooked up in the cabin yet. That's going to be uh, something I'm going to work on here in a little bit. And it's not hooked up in the shed yet either. Um, so uh, both, I don't have to do both of those, but I am going to have to do the uh, shed. I mean, sorry, I do have to do the cabin. Uh, so in here, it's sort of a mess because I had to move stuff around. I need to finish uh, wiring into the box. Um, I have up here like three inches, two to three inches all the way across that I need to do. Oh. Wiring the box is on tap for today so I can start this wall once this wall's done. But I'm going to do this wall, sorry, do the electric, uh, finish this wall, and then I can start on this wall and getting the ship lap up behind me and I don't know how much of this I'll do but I am going to put like I said a plug or a, the box for the light there and I'm going to put the plug right there and then I can finish that up again the pipe will go over here in the corner but I'm going to wait until my wife's here with the piece for the outside before I do that but I've got lots I can do today I won't be uh I won't I've got lots to do so I'm going to quit talking and I'm going to get on this and see how much of this I can get done today. Um, time's running out. My parents need their camper. I've pretty much quit using it, but we're still using it as storage. And so getting in here and getting the walls done, getting the ceiling up so we can get stuff out of there into the storage lofts will, um, that needs to be done. But uh, I need to get the walls up so I can finish the ceiling. Well, it's hot um, for me anyway. Um, I did have to go to town. I broke, I had two jigsaw blades and I bent them both. Um, didn't break them, but I bent them. So I went into town and got some more. And, uh, unfortunately the ice cream shack in town was having a fundraiser. So, I mean, I just sort of had to help, right? Actually, so here's what I got done. I did just finish, uh, this side. We are completely done. The th only thing left on this side is for my wife to paint or whitewash or I guess technically blue wash since she's planning on using a blue paint. Um, I need to move everything that's on this side to over here where I'm at so I can start over there. I've got things situated and ready to go. Uh, we're only coming to the window there because this whole corner, since that's where the fireplace is going to go, uh, I think we're going to start with concrete board and then put some sort of tile behind it. Something non-flammable because that would be important. So um, that's what's on tap. If I can get that done, it's two o'clock. So if I can get that done, I feel like I'm doing probably a pretty good job today. I don't know how much of that I'll be able to get done, uh, but we'll see. I'm hoping quite a bit, actually. Um, I've got to cut out the window one plug and where the breaker box is going to go. So we'll see. Well, the rain never got here, but we've got a pretty good strong north wind and it's cooled things off quite a bit. It's probably dropped at least 20 degrees outside. I'm not quite sure, but, uh, but that hasn't stopped me and uh, it's looking good. So here you go. I uh, finished this wall. 
it is exactly what we're looking for again this little corner is going to be all uh, tile to be around the uh, the wood stove so next up I mean I can still finish the east wall that the door is in but I'm not doing that wall there until my wife gets back um, but it is 630 and I think I'm done I think I'm gonna pick everything up <clears throat> rain we're back to a zero percent chance of rain so that's not really an issue but I'm tired uh, it's been a busy week at work and every every day I've come out here and and put a lot of time and effort in here so I think I'm gonna call it quits for today um, put things in here get it put away and then tomorrow I may go ahead and finish up this uh, east wall and possibly the south wall behind me unfortunately oh, you can't see because of the box but all the wood is piled in front of it so I don't know when I'll do that one I might wait until I do these other two walls and then I can move the boards to actually do that wall that's probably what I'm gonna do uh, so anyway um, good day productive day um, for those of you, I've, I've had a few people talk about, you know, they wish they could do this or that kind of stuff. One thing I would suggest doing now is start buying tools. Um, having a circular saw, especially battery powered, has been amazing, um, which I haven't used this trip or this project, but I have in others. Um, this chop saw, it has been amazing. If it was the next size bigger, it would have been great, but for these boards, it's been perfectly fine. Uh, the jigsaw has uh, been great. Uh, clamps are good. The sawhorse is good. Um, levels, speed squares, electric sanders. Uh, shoot, battery sanders if you can get one. I just don't have one. All of that comes in handy. And all of that makes projects uh, easier. Um, and then just do projects around your house where you're at and uh most of this stuff i've just picked up all of it i've picked up as i've gone along but this has been a pretty easy project so far um like i said cutting out the holes for the plugs and around the windows that's been the biggest thing and then uh without my table saw here um figuring out how to you know clamp fences on you know makeshift fences on the wood so i can cut a straight line so it doesn't look all wobbly has been good anyway uh thanks for coming along um i hope you're enjoying this i again am ecstatic i can't wait until uh my bride gets to see how it's looking um anyway i'll talk to y'all later have a great evening.